Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 incredibly useful iPad apps that you must have on your iPad. These are apps that will add like extra features and help you perform a lot of tasks easier and faster on your iPad. So here are 10 incredibly useful iPad apps that you must have on your iPad. The first app for the video is called Premiere Rush and this one is from Adobe and of course it allows you to edit your videos. You can edit your videos like a true pro just like you do on your laptop or on your PC but now with Premiere Rush you can do that on your iPad and it has a ton of features, most of the features that everyone needs to edit their videos. Now right here we have the home screen like the timeline here at the bottom and at the top you will have the preview of the video. You can of course add new videos from there. If you go here you can add different texts, you can add different transitions, of course filters, change the speed and the duration of the video and then of course you can go ahead and also crop the video any way you want. Right here you can of course change the stuff on the timeline, you can move stuff around and all that. Of course you can split, you can basically merge and all that stuff with the clips. Everything can be done directly from here very very easily. Now once you're done of course you just have the share button right there and you will be able to export it directly from here. Now this is a paid app, it only offers like three free exports so you can just basically try it out and then you will have to purchase if you want to have all these cool features on your iPad. The next app for the video is called AnyDesk and this one is very useful as it allows you to control your PC directly from your iPad. Now all you gotta do is just of course download this free app from the App Store then go to your PC and download the AnyDesk client for your PC. And then of course you can just use the number right there and you will be able to connect your iPad with your PC. And of course everything that you have on your PC can be controlled directly from your iPad. And this can be done of course remotely. You need to do stuff on another like PC or on your PC or someone else. You can do that using this thing. So you can see right here I can go ahead and move with the mouse on my PC here and do stuff and you can see it's showing everything here. So everything can be controlled from your iPad to your PC. Send Anywhere is an app that allows you to easily share big files, any files you want like videos or pictures from your iPad to anywhere you want and that's using links. So all you gotta do is of course just go ahead and select anything that you want to share and then just tap the send button right there and you're good to go. Now what it will do is that it will create this code or this QR code which you can share with someone like a nearby device. You can scan this and receive the thing or you can just tap here on share link and then you will have the ability to get that link and then just send the link to someone and then you, they can use that link to basically download those things on another like iPad or another PC or iPhone anywhere they want. So all you gotta do is just copy and send the link, go to my links right here and you will find all the links that you have created. You can see it will expire in like 48 hours. You just tap right there, share the link and you're good to go. Click copy and you can send the link to anyone that you want to send the files. Now once you have sent the link to someone and they open it, they will see this page right here. As you can see, these are the two files that I have sent and of course I can tap receive right there and go ahead and download these right here on my iPad or on your PC, wherever you want. The next app for the video is called WordPress and it allows you to easily create websites from your iPad and of course even manage your website if you have already created one. So it's very very simple to do. Creating a website is very easy. So you can see right here we have all the things that we need. You can write so if you have already created a website which I have done you can go ahead and just tap right there and you can write a new post on your website. That's really awesome. You will have here the site page, you will have the blog posts right here so all the posts that you have done can be seen right here. You can edit or delete them directly from here. That's really really cool. Now if you go to your, your site you can go ahead and create a website as easy as this directly from here. So 
just go ahead and tap right there and you can create using WordPress. Of course, you can create a website for your blog, your business, your professional career, or even just like a blank canvas. And then you can go ahead and create any website of any idea that you have. The next app for the video is called Bizarre, and this is a must have one when it comes to editing pictures and also creating posts for your social media. So this is the home screen you can see here, different like mockups that you can use to create your own posts for like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, whatever you want. Of course, you can start a new one right here if you just wanna start new. And then of course you go ahead and just select one of your pictures. And once you have done that, you can go ahead and edit that picture and add like different stuff to it. So you can add another photo, you can add text, you can add stickers, you can draw on it, or you can add a background. Then if you go to edit, you can edit basically anything you want. Like from the filters, you can adjust all the brightness, the serration, the shadows, the highlights, all that stuff, the sharpness, of course, everything can be like every aspect of the picture can be edited from here. Very, very nice, like a very full feature app for editing pictures and creating posts for your social media. Now, when it comes to web browser, of course, most of us probably use Safari on the iPad and the iPhone, but if you wanna have a really, really private web browser on your iPad or iPhone, go ahead and install Firefox Focus. Now, this is truly, like, truly private. All you have to do is just go ahead and search there anything you want, so let's just search something here and tap go. And of course it will search for that stuff. And once you're done, you can see here you don't have any option like to close this tab and open a new tab or anything. All you have to do is just go ahead and tap that button right there. That's like trash, like, like that delete button. And that will just close the tab, delete everything. All the history, everything will be deleted. And this also prevents like sites from tracking you and all that stuff. So it's truly private. Once you close a tab, it's gone. The history, everything is gone. And it's a really private web browser. Now the next one is called Shadow Draw. Now this one is very useful for someone that wants to learn how to draw. It will take you basically to step by step how you can draw something. So you will have like different drawings right here, which you can use. So just go ahead and tap on one of them and then just tap start drawing and it will basically give you the lines, give you everything. It will help you go ahead and create these drawings. And of course, that way you can practice to draw better. So you can see that blue line, then you have to go ahead and draw one for yourself. So it basically shows you how to draw like an eye or a beer or anything. It's easy that you can learn to draw with your iPad. The next app for the video is called Slides and this one is by Google and it allows you to create beautiful slides for any presentation that you might need. And of course, it is very, very useful. It is free and very simple to use. Now, once you open the app, all you gotta do is just have the plus button and you can create a new slide. You can choose a template, of course. He will have some really, really beautiful templates that you can use. So just go ahead, choose the one that you need and then of course it will get into that. You can go ahead and edit that text and then you can continue, of course. You can add new slides right here. You can just choose any slides that you want. You can add, of course, a blank page or like any of the other ones that are within the template. And of course, you can go ahead, type here, you can do anything you want. Now, if you want to basically edit this text, you just go ahead, double tap there. And you can, of course, go ahead, enter your information there, your text. And of course, you can even format that any way you like. The next app for the video is called Cloudy, and this is a must have weather app for the iPad and the iPhone as well. It is really awesome, a bunch of features, and as you can see, a really, really beautiful UI right here. Now this is the home, at the top you will see the weather forecast for today, then you will have the hourly forecast right here. You will see some more details, and then the weekly forecast right here at the bottom. Now as you slide down, you will see sunset, sunrise, sunset, all that, you will see all the different details. Now, if you tap right there at the top left corner, you can see your cities. You can, of course, 
add new ones or remove any one of them and of course switch between them as well now if you tap at the globe right there you will see right here will have temperature you have rain humidity and clouds as well and you will see at the temperature right here we have different colors for different temperature and you can of course take a look here at the globe and see like how the temperature is you can see the rain the humidity and all that and of course based on the colors right here you can also see how many degrees the temperature is on the world and last but not least is an app called calorie and this one will help you lose weight so as you can see right here as you go through the setup you enter your weight your height and your basically your goal it will show you how much calorie you can eat during a day and that's really really cool if you go here you can of course allow the notification so let's just skip that and you will have like a premium subscription right there if you want to have more features now right here you can see you can go ahead and log your food so if you tap here you can enter any food you want so just tap right there and you can see it shows you those dots which basically like indicates your stomach it will show you like a full circle with dots once you have reached your limit of calories really really awesome of course you will have all your stats and all that will help you lose a lot of weight by keeping track at your calories so that is it for this video guys these are 10 incredibly useful ipad apps that i believe everyone should have on their ipad of course they will add extra features as well as help you do like different stuff faster and easier on your ipad again thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos i'll see you on the next one